guys, welcome back. So today I just wanted to sit down and share with you how I've been doing. I hope you're all doing okay and keeping busy if you are still working or just at home. First of all, I'm in a different spot. I have some vibey lighting going on. I hope you guys like it. I like filming in my bedroom from my desk and it's nice and bright, but I felt like for this video, I didn't really need that. I just wanted to sit down and share some things that I've been up to, things that I've been loving, um, things that I've been trying. So the first thing is I am completely obsessed with TikTok. It's, it's happened. I did make a few and some of them are, you know, all of them are cringy, to be honest. I have a dancing one, I have one of my cats, I have one that's trying to be funny. Sorry if you can hear my cats scratching in the litter box. I just cleaned it, so. So yeah, that has consumed my life. I really have to try to not stay on my phone at night. I mean, it happens, it's fine. I don't really have bedtime. I don't have a time to wake up. I wake up, Michael's gone, and I just go on with my day, so. It's fine. I'm not trying to get too down about myself. If you watched my last makeup focus video, I mentioned that I wanted some palettes and I did get two of them. So I got the Huda Beauty ones, these two. They actually remind me of Honey Dukes because of the colors. So I got the Pastel Rose one and the Pastel Mint and Mint? Pastel Mint. And they are just so beautiful. The cats just keep making noises all over the house. <laughs> These are so interesting because it's not a deep look. I am not used to pastels, so when I first put it on my eyes, I was like, this is interesting, but it was fun. I actually wore one on each eye and just hung out all day. I've done it twice. Today I actually have on some of the shimmery shades in the rose one, and it's just so fun. I love that they're like just little, mini palettes and I actually have one more on the way. I don't know if it's gonna be shipped yet, so I'm not gonna be sharing that with you guys until I get it. Another thing that I've been doing is getting kind of into art, um, digital art, mixed media art. I went to Walmart to get some groceries and I like went by the craft section real quick because I knew that I just wanted to look at something. So if I wanted to do stuff with my hands, I could. So so I wanted to take a crack at embroidery. I have done it in the past, like such random embroidery. I did some anime things on these little patches of denim. I'm talking like 12 years ago. So I have a little hoop. I didn't want to get a plastic wooden hoop, so I just had this two inch one. I also bought this pack of paint brushes in case I wanted to paint because I watched an episode of Bob Ross randomly and I used to watch Bob Ross when I was in high school. I'd wake up and watch a show. So I was like, mm, maybe if I want to paint, I'll paint because I have a ton of paint. And then I got a bunch of thread. So yeah, I just got two because there are some like pastel nice shades in this pack and this box of floss. So my embroidered clothes, I'm really not sure. I am so used to using my hands and doing things and feeling like very useful to the community because I like, you know, I wax people. It's like, it may be so superficial, you know, it's waxing, it's, it's beauty, but um, like everyone that leaves my, my experience leaves pretty happy. So it is like a, a feeling of, I'd say like dopamine just that I don't have. Um, so yeah, that's why I've been a little down, I think. It's so strange talking about it, but it's so true. We also got some Easter chocolate, which is kind of funny because we don't celebrate Easter. I did participate in like a school fundraiser for my coworker and I got some Gershu Talk chocolates. I actually picked them up today. She was going to drop them off tomorrow, but I was like, I can just go pick them up because I really want to go on a drive and she, she lives like 20 minutes away. So that was really nice just to go out and drive around. Um, and I didn't even see my coworker. She like hung it on her mailbox and I just got it. So yeah, that was a nice part of the day, just leaving the house and not having to, you know, wear a mask and like be in the grocery store, you know, that whole situation, mask, gloves and all that stuff. And by the way, like when I go to the store, I make sure that I'm not wearing anything that goes up to my wrist. It's always like up to here because you know, when you hold the cart and like sometimes you lean on stuff, so yeah, I don't do that. Also, I've been straightening my hair and it's really just because I'm so lazy. Um, it's one extra thing that makes me feel better because when I wake up and my hair is like a mess um, and I don't feel like styling it, I just 
I just don't feel like doing it. And I used to feel so guilty about straightening my hair. And I used to feel weird about having my hair straight. But I think it's when I'm out of the house and like the wind is blowing and it's like getting <laughs> in my mouth and I don't like that. So I'm at home, there's no wind and I can like function. And honestly, it really sucks. But I have to admit, um, taking photos and filming videos is so much easier when my hair is straight. I hate that. I hate that I feel that way. When I film with my curly hair and I see a curl that's out of place over here, I'm like, move, move. It doesn't look right. So it takes me a while. And by that time that I feel like I look presentable, which why do I care so much? Like the nature of curly hair is to be wild. Um, but I feel like YouTube is just a very judgy place. Um, it's not like hundreds of people are watching my videos. They really aren't. You guys that come back are the ones and I'm sure you come back because you just like my contact, my content and thank you so much. As far as exercise goes, I have not been exercising. I just, I don't know. I keep going to bed and being like, yeah, tomorrow's the day. I'm gonna do it. We're gonna get those clothes on. But then I don't and I wake up and I'm just not feeling it. And I don't know, our diet has been, it's been okay. We just, I, <laughs> I have not <laughs> been planning meals as like good as I should be. I think it's because I just don't have that structure of like, I'm going to work, so therefore I have to cook a lot of food to make sure that there's food for dinner, work tomorrow, and then food for when I come home from work. So like that whole cycle of cooking isn't there. And if I need something to like do a recipe that I see on Pinterest, I can't just run to the store and get the ingredients. So I think that's why. Also, we rearranged the dining room, which is really interesting. And I feel like I could film a bunch of things in this space. I'm just gonna turn you guys a bit so you can see. Like there is our console table, which you wanna get rid of. And um, yeah, our dining table is all the way over there. So now in front of the window, there is this cart over here. It was a bar cart and I could easily wheel it away and I could have just a white wall and like film stuff, but I don't know what stuff. I feel weird wanting to do fashion content because like, where are we going? I don't know. <laughs> so it's just like a thing. It's just a strange thing. For a while there, I felt like my brain was going to mush because I was just on screens a lot. And I think that that is what led to me just like bleh, breaking down and being like, <laughs> feeling all these types of ways because yeah, I'm not used to being on screens for that long. I don't think a lot of us are if we're used to going to work and you know, just living normal life basically. I think a lot of creators are going through this um, feeling like they don't know what to post because there are those who are posting content like everything is normal and I love that. And then there are people that are posting content and talking about how they're feeling and I love that too. So thank goodness there is variety, but I am coming to that wall where I feel like nothing is satiating my my need, like my entertainment needs. So I downloaded Crunchyroll because I feel like I wanna start watching animes. We shall see how that goes. I actually wanna do a anime topic video. I think I'm gonna film that after this because I just honestly ran into it a bit and I was like, wait, 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 this could be a whole other video. So that is it. That's all I've been doing. Let me know if there are any shows or like things, movies you recommend down below. Um, I recently watched Unorthodox on Netflix. That was a really good mini series. It's like six episodes and the topic of it is not having a voice. It's not really about like religion. I mean, it is about religion, but um, the, the topic of it is, you know, not having a choice in that whole thing. So it's just very interesting to watch. And I also finished The Magicians, which was so sad. I am so sad about this show because it was so, so amazing and five seasons, like, mm, I didn't want it to end. And honestly, being a Harry Potter fan when this show first came on, like, it was kind of weird because they do magic with their hands and stuff and there's no wands and it's it's not magic in that way. It's like they're magicians, I don't know. It's very different. It's not witches and wizards and that whole thing. So it's very different, but the story, oh my God, just that show was so good. So if you're a fan, let me know in the comments and uh, I'm gonna wrap this video up right here because it's gone on for way too long. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you're doing okay. 
Hope you're having a magical day indoors or wherever you're doing, and I'll see you in the next video.